Hey, it's Melody Stroud. I'm going to show you how to edit a video using Windows Free Movie Maker. If you do not have Windows, then uh, you'll need to just Google or do a YouTube search on how to edit using your Mac. So for here, here we are in Windows, and this is Movie Maker, and it's black right here. We are going to click on Add Videos and Photos. Click, and I want to go to my pictures camera roll I want to do this top one okay so what it's going to do is it is just pulling it and you'll see down here it says file one of one so it's uploading so that's great okay I'm just gonna wait a minute and we're waiting we're waiting you can see up here there's different things we can add music um, you can record narration caption I really like to use captions in my videos that way it um, you're, you're going to catch people um, with, you know, their different learning styles. They're going to hear it. They're going to get the audio, but they're also going to read what you're, what you're saying, too. So um, that, that hits that other learning style. It just helps them to remember. So I, I do like to use captions. And then we have lots of other things up here. All right, so it's almost done. We're waiting. I'm just going to show you a couple things, and then um, I'm not going to edit this whole thing for you. It does take a while for me to edit. Um, I like doing it though, it's fun, and, um, but I'm not going to edit the whole thing. I'll just show you how I do it. Okay, so here I am. So right here on the screen, this is what's going to show up. So this is what you can watch, and you can, um, you can, you know, make it bigger, you can make it smaller. I just like to leave it on default. Okay, you can see the time right here, and as we edit, this time will go down. All right, so there are two, um, two big tips that I want to share with you. The first one is the space bar. Using the space bar um, will start and stop your video. So I really like that rather than keep clicking the, um, the play button. So space bar and then the letter M key as in melody, the letter M is going to cut your video. Okay, so you can see here we have our videos. We're in four minutes. And all this stuff right here, that's the voice. Okay, that's me talking. And when there's there's not, that means I'm not talking. All right, so we want to cut off that front part, right? So I'm going to hit my space bar to start it. And then I'm going to have my other hand over here on the M key ready to cut. Okay, here we go. And I'm getting ready. Okay, so right there, my mouse starts to open. That's where I'm going to cut. So I'll put, I'm going to press the M key. Okay, you can see it's cut. Now I'm going to press the space bar again to start it. Hey, it's Melody. Congratulations. Okay, looks good. So I'm going to click on that and see how just that part is highlighted. Now I'm going to click delete. Went away. All right, so I'm back at the beginning. Let's press the space bar and see what happens. Hey, it's Melody. Okay, so it starts right away. I love that. Okay, so let's have it run for a minute. Melody, congratulations, pineapple. What a crazy, awesome April. Okay, so. If there were, um, th now, whenever you make a video, it's always good just to let it run. So if you have mess ups, don't keep clicking, you know, stop and start with your phone or with your, your webcam. Just let it run, um, and then you can go back and edit it. It's just, it's faster that way when you're making it. Um, so if there were lots of, um, if there were lots of dead parts in here, like there were, um, see, I'm talking through the whole thing, so there's no other big mess ups. Um, but if there were mess ups, I would stop and pause and then start again. So I would know kind of where to look for my editing. But since there's not, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to edit. I'm not going to use the M key anymore. I'm not going to make any cuts because it's just one long thing. However, if you have a video and you have lots of mess ups or things you want to fix, then that's when you would cut and use the M key. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is add, show you how to add a caption. So I wanna put congratulations right here. Now with your hand, you can, you know, you can do this, move it. So I'm gonna put it right there, okay? So I'm gonna go to caption, click, and it comes up right there. I'm going to, I really like the Boogaloo font. All of your fonts should show up, Boogaloo, and I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Okay, now I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to write what I want. Congratulations. Yay. All right, I need to make that a little bigger. Awesome. And I can move this. You can click on it, and when that comes up, you can move it over here. 
And just move it anywhere you want to. I'm just going to put it right there, just right in the middle, right there. Okay. Now, you see over here, text duration. This is how long it's on the screen for. Seven seconds is kind of a lot. Let's go down to three. Awesome. Okay. So, hey, it's Melody. Congratulations, Pineapple. On a crazy, awesome April, we were able to share so many books with so many families. Okay, so it says congratulations, and then I wait a few seconds to even have this pop up. So let's move it. So we're going to click on it. Okay, and then you can click and drag to where you want it. Pretty cool, right? Let's see if it's at the right spot. Hey, it's Melody. Congratulations, Pineapple. On a crazy, awesome April. Yeah, that's fine. We were able to share so many books with so okay, many good. families. Thank you for your hard work. So now we're in May, and schedules are starting to change a little. Some are getting a little busier right now. I know ours is. Okay. But some are, some are also getting a little bit lighter because of summer. So wherever you are, I would love for you to take some time. Okay, so um, there's not much more to this. I'm going to keep adding some captions at certain parts that I really want to highlight. I'm going to show you now how to add music. Okay. Um, oh, let's go cut the end. All right, so I can move this. I'm clicking on this line. I'm going to move it down here. Okay, and then I'm going to just press the, sp the space bar. Great. Okay, you see how I kind of stopped and looked at the screen? I want to cut that out. So I'm going to scroll back here. I'm going to cut it right after by. So now I have my left hand on the space bar. I got my right hand on the M. Bye. Bye. Click, and then M. Okay, so I have this right here. I'm going to click on it. Click delete. It's going to be really nice, clean. I can check it. It's going to be a really nice, clean ending. Space bar. Great, great. All right, so um, I want to add some music. Um, all right, I'm gonna. All right, I'm going to stop this video here because there's. Uh, I'm gonna make a different video about how to add like an intro and an ending. Let me show you what I mean by that, and then I'll make a video about how to do that because that's a whole different kind of thing. Okay. I'm back to the front. I want an intro. I'm going to go to Add Videos and Photos. I already have a little folder called Videos. Okay, and I have a, there's a team training intro. Uh, yeah, this is the, well, this is the, let's see. Um, okay, let's see. Um, I'll just I'll just put the team training so you can see what it's like. I might go back and fix it. Okay. So team training intro. Um, okay, I'll just show you. Here we go. Now this video it's down here. I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag it up here. I can move it around. Whenever you make cuts, like with the M, if you have different cuts, you can move things around. Um, so here I'll show you. Well, I won't show you. Just play with it. Make a video of yourself and just play with it. But like if you were to, you know, put the thing here. Here, watch. So now we're in May. May. Okay. So I cut it right there, right? And let it go. And schedules are starting to change a little. Some are getting a little busier right now. And Boom. Cut. All right. Now, it didn't go away. I didn't delete it. I just put like a little divider there. I can take this part and I can click on it and I can drag it and move it. Okay. So you can... You can do that a lot. Now, did anything happen that I cut it? No, watch. Now we're in May. And See over here? Starting to change nothing. A little. Some are getting a little busier right now. I know ours is. Okay, see, nothing happens unless you delete it or you move it. All right, so this is my intro. This is a video I've already made just of my intro. So watch. I'm going to click space bar. Isn't that cool? Okay, so that's an intro, um, and then I have, you know, there's an ending. Um, you can put an ending, and I'm going to show you in a different video um, how to make an intro. But anyway, um, learning how to cut, how to move things, um, that should get you a really great start. And, oh, music. Okay, so I had to add music. Um, so, just going to say I want music right here. I'm going to delete this. 
delete. Okay, I'm going to say I want music right here. I'm going to go to add music. Okay, because it's great to have music. And then I have these, um, a lot of these are downloaded for free from YouTube. Okay, so I would just, mm, let's see, um, spring my step. It's fun. Okay, so the green underneath it, this is the music. Now, up here, you have video tools and you have music tools options. You can fade in. I like to fade out fast. And then you can change the music volume. I like to have it just itty bitty, like itty bitty bitty, so it doesn't interfere. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Okay, I'm going to space bar. Hey, it's Melody. Crazy awesome April. We're able to share. See that's like nice in the background. Thank you for your that's awesome. Okay. Boom. Okay, so I might even just keep that. Now you see it doesn't go the whole length, right? So I move this down here. I'm just gonna go to back to home. Add music again. I'm gonna do the same thing. There it is, right? But look, it still doesn't go all the way. So I might do it again. Add music, bring my step. There it is, right? Okay, so this goes throughout the whole thing. Um, now, if you see how I changed the volume here, though, music tools options, I made the volume really quiet. I have to do that each time. So I'll go to here, music volume, see it's right in the middle. I go right to the end, and then just one little smidge. And then the same here music volume, right to the end. One little, one little, yeah, just hard. One little, just a one, just one. Okay, so there we go. All right, so I've got my music. Um, and then I'll show you real quick on YouTube where to find that. So I'm going to, let's see, I'll just save it. So file, save movie for computer, okay? And that's how you do that. I'm going to still work on this, though, so um, I'm going to minimize that. I'll show you real quick on YouTube. Where to find free music? Because you don't want to just take music from anywhere because it could be copyrighted. We don't want to do that. So go up here. You should have some kind of um, icon here. You click. This is me. And you go to Creator Studio. All right. And then Creator Studio. You go to Create. And then you have different libraries. Okay. So Audio Library. And you can just search. You can search for happy. I want some happy music, right? And so here we go. All this happy music, and you can listen to it. Okay, cool. I like it. Okay, so all these different, um, this is where I got um, Spring in My Step. I got that from Drisco Tech. She did um, my earlier vid my earliest videos, and she got the free music from YouTube. So that way you don't have to spend 20 or 30 bucks on an audio track that you can use. So you're free to use this song in any of your videos. Pretty cool. So that's in Create YouTube. All right, and then here's Movie Maker. All right, yay. So hopefully this helps some. Go ahead and use this to, um, to get started on making your videos. And if you have any questions, just let me know. So excited to help you. And then be on the lookout for the video on how to make an intro. And I'll do the same thing for an ending. Yay. All right. Thanks so much. Bye.